it, you know, uh, heavier in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, we could have all played the three guitar part harmonies, which is really good. I mean, sometimes we would have left the third part off an album just because we couldn't recreate it live. So this time we're actually, you know, we're uh, doubling up. And some of the solos, actually, Yannick and Adrian are like playing, you know, the same, the same solos together, which is very good. So it's made it more interesting and um, it's made it damn heavier, <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this at the moment, this is like the Ed Hunter tour based on the, the computer game and everything mm -hmm. that's out. And, and the stage set reflects that, but obviously, you know, the stage set is huge that we're using. But then next year, we'll have a new album and everything will reflect around the new album with uh, possibly an even bigger set than we've got at the moment. Yeah. With the growing popularity of rap and alternative rock, I asked the band how they plan on attracting younger fans to their music. Well, I mean, it, in the rest of the world, it hasn't really been a problem because, you know, we've still been selling the albums and doing the ticket sales, you know. But I suppose in, in the Canada and North America, we, you know, even to a certain degree, the UK, we lost a lot of ground, and it's a challenge now to actually try and win them people back. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you know, we've been very lucky that we, you know, our career hasn't been revolved around, you know, North America, Canada, whatever. So, you know. We're very lucky now, it's just the fact that we've got our core fans and even over here, I mean, it's not dropped so to the point where we can't do shows, you know. Mm -hmm. We've still got our core fan base, but, you know, it would be nice to try and uh, get it back to where it was. You know. Iron Maiden has sold over 50 million albums worldwide with little or no radio airplay. The band spoke about this accomplishment. Probably toured more than most bands. I mean, every the cycle would be every 18 months. You know, we'd do an album and maybe spend 10 months on the road. So, we've we've done a lot of touring um, over the you know last 20 years, and maybe you know could tr attribute to that. But a lot of it is word on the street. You know, the fan base has been you know has been loyal as well. You know, we've had a lot of hardcore supporters that are, been, that are still there today. You know, and um, but yeah, there's a certain secret there that you know you can't t tap into. You know. I think the thing is as well, in the rest of the world we've been picking up new young fans all the time. Most other countries is like, you know, really young fans very to the older people that have been into it for years. Um, whereas I think over here we've tended to sort of not really win over the new young fans, you know. Um, I think the trends over here have been very different the last few years. And we've never exactly been very trendy anyway, but um, I really think it's affected us more here than anywhere else.